Whoa well, now, whoa well, now, whoa well, now. Welcome back to the Black Alpha, your boy, Brother Kush. On this video, I want to do the final one, number five of the five myths of long-term relationships, right? Number five is a doozy. She definitely saved the best for last. So this is going to be a good one. It's going to be very interesting. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. I drop more videos. If you don't hit the bell icon, you won't know when I drop a video unless you come back to the channel physically and check. So do that. At least do that. And go into the comment section and leave an emoji. Don't have to be words. Leave an emoji or something. Help the algorithm because YouTube does not like what I do. But right now, I'm going to start doing what y'all want me to do till I get y'all to understand we need to do some things differently. So this list is actually based upon things that people say hurt relationships, like hurt long-term relationships. And what she's saying is that these things are debunked, right? She's debunking these myths about long-term relationships, right? And unfortunately for her, so far, number one, having different beliefs ruin a relationship, that is true. That is not a myth. The second one, you know what I'm saying, sort of a foul ball, you know what I'm saying? I know a foul ball can be a strike, but this is sort of a foul ball here, you know what I'm saying? But number one was a strike, foul ball. Number three was a strike. Having arguments is a red flag. That is a strike. She's wrong about this. That's true. That's true. She can't debunk that because that is true. See the third video on that one there, right? That is true. Number four, having family with some mental relationships. Now, this one here is sort of a foul also because she didn't really debunk this. If, you're, if, if your idea of a family is, is having children, then that's the wrong idea of family to begin with because children are only a byproduct of the relationship. You are there before the children and you should be there together after the children. And number five, this is a doozy. So number five is say lasting relationships don't require work. They are effortless. Now, somebody say that this is true about relationships, about long-term relationships. What she's saying is that it's not true. She said too often couples make the mistake of believing that relationships will come naturally if they are meant to be together. But the truth is that all long lasting relationships require work. In number three, video number three, I talked about staying in the lane. I explained why fights are a red flag, why you have no reason to be fussing and fighting with nobody. Because conflict takes effort, which means somebody is chaotic, somebody is confrontational. If you got these kind of, you know, problems in your relationship, one of y'all is a problem or both of y'all are a problem. You know what I'm saying? And if that either, either or, you got a problem. Because in a normal situation, fights are not natural. They take too much effort to get there. Somebody got to want the fight. Somebody got to look for the fight. Relationships do not require work. Lasting relationships are not hard to maintain. I don't know a single relationship that's been going on for decades. Like I said, I have aunts, aunts and uncles that have been married since I was a little boy. So I've seen some long-term relationships and I can tell you from looking at these people, you know, from knowing these people as relatives. Now I'm not in their house, but from looking at how they move, it seems like there's just a fundamental understanding of, of lanes, right? She stays in her lane, he stays in his lane, and they don't really have a problem. And I think that's the thing you see. If, if, if you think it requires work, that means you're trying to be with somebody that is not really a good fit for you. Because that's why it's called a good fit. That's why it's called a good fit. You don't say, I had to force it together, I had to make this shit. No, you say it, it was a fit, like a hand in a glove. This is why we describe things that go together as good fits. So if something is a good fit, it's effortless. It goes together. It just goes together. If you're working on it, that means it don't go together. That means you gotta shave some edges off, you gotta, you gotta trim the side over here, you gotta cut some piece off over here to make it fit. You're trying to make it fit, so I mean, Something has to be altered. One of the two original pieces has to be altered so that they can fit together. And that ain't gonna work, bro. Because first of all, neither piece is gonna want to be altered. And if one piece allowed themselves to be altered, they're gonna resent, they're gonna resent you for altering them. Or you're gonna resent her from altering you. It's not gonna work. Either it fit or it don't fit. So she's wrong about that. You know what I'm saying? They 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 are they are effortless people. Trust me on that. They are peaceful. Good relationships are effortless. Now, 
Am I saying that y'all never, ever, ever gonna have a moment of tension? No. But again, if it fits, both of y'all resolve the stuff the same way, both of y'all move the same way. If it fit, it fit. If it fit, the moments of tension oftentimes dissipate before they even escalate into to something serious. They go away on their own with no resentment, no anger, no nothing. They just go away. You know what I'm saying? It fizzle out. You know what I'm saying? If it fits, it fits. You know? So let me go back to this here. So let me keep going. Just, just like you treat your best friend, your partner needs to be made to feel special. Bro, you cannot make nobody feel special in your life. That is a huge mistake. Do not follow that advice. Do not follow that advice. Do not make nobody feel like they are special in your life. Your spouse doesn't need, look, a real spouse does not need to feel special. The specialness comes from the fact that we are fit, that, that we are a good fit for each other. That's what, that's what's special. And that's going to be understood. You know the old street saying, what's, what, what, you know, what, what, what's, what's understood don't need to be said. If, if we are a good fit, that is what makes us both special to each other. Not one way around. You don't do that, man. Don't do that. Look, playing into them egos is a dangerous, dangerous thing. Do not do that, my friends. Do not do that. No woman should feel like no woman should feel like you can't replace her, and no man should feel like a woman can't replace him. None of us are special. We are all human beings. But we do meet people sometime in life that are good fits for us. And that's what makes that person special to you. But you don't have to show that with gifts. You don't have to show that with fancy words. All you got to do to show that is let the relationship develop and build and progress. That's all you got to do. You know? So anyway, we are creatures of habit and comfort. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and work with your relationship. Work and make your relationship thrive. Then you'll be on the right track to have a successful long-term relationship. Now, I do agree about the comfort zone thing. I do agree with that. Because no matter how much of a good fit y'all are two individual people coming together is always uh somewhat challenging especially when once y'all get under the same roof luckily for us like i said we know we don't share the same bathroom and stuff like that so you know we don't have a lot of the problems that a lot of people had you know what i'm saying sharing a bathroom is a nightmare <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's a nightmare you know Y'all both might have to shit at the same time. I mean, sharing a bathroom is just a nightmare. And then whoever's in there first, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They come out, they didn't folk the motherfucker, and you gotta go. I mean, it, uh, sharing a bathroom is not pleasant. You know what I'm saying? So we don't share bathrooms, none of that stuff. So, you know, our relationship is actually a lot easier than the most people's relationships are. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things I would recommend. You know, if you and your if you and your girlfriend or whatever gonna move in together, do, do a two-bedroom. You know what I'm saying? I mean two bathroom. Do a two-bathroom, you know. Two bedroom won't be a bad idea either, but two bathroom is a must. Do a two bathroom. At least a one and a half. At least one bathroom may have a full bathroom with a shower and toilet, and other one is a toilet. But you need at least a one and a half. Y'all can share a shower together, but sharing that toilet together is not, that's not gonna be an easy thing to do. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, but I do me I, I do agree that you know, compromising some of your comforts, you know what I'm saying, to make a relationship work, you know, but that comes with just being understanding. That comes with just, just being a real human being and understanding that this is just what it is. You do have to get outside your comfort zone, both of y'all, because you do share spaces with somebody else. And that's that that always come with a degree of challenges. You know, but that said, the premise of number five, which is lasting relationships don't require work, they are effortless, that is true. So that's strike three for her. She was wrong about a lot of stuff, and, and, and that just goes to show you that these experts do not know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Whatever reason her and her husband had survived for however long they survived, it's not because of any of these things she said. I guarantee you get to know them, you'll see one of them is simping for the other. And sound like the, from the way, being the fact that she writes articles and she expresses her opinions like this, he's more than likely the simp. He's more than likely ducking, you know, simping for her, you know, kissing her ass and everything. That's more than likely the dynamics of their relationship. So her relationship won't work with nobody else. So she has no she has no understanding of what she's talking about. And I'm gonna end it there. That's all five. I'm gonna post these up back to back, back to back, man. You know what I'm saying? So until next time, I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam. <laughs>